Murder Together acknowledges the Wadjambara, Tableland, Yidinji, and Najinji peoples as the traditional owners of the lands near and around Maple Street Neighbourhood Centre, where these videos were created. We also pay respect to the ancestors and elders past, present and future, including the traditional owners of the land on which you sit and watch this video. Hello, my name is John and today I will tell you a little story about a cassowary. A cassowary is one of our larger Australian birds that inhabits the rainforest. Today's story is about Cassie's Tale. And Cassie's Tale was written by Eva Marie Welsh from Mission Beach. Mission Beach is in the middle of all the rainforests of tropical North Queensland. And Eva Marie is also a very, very good illusionist and she will show you some of her drawings throughout this book. Cassie's tail, crackle, blue-green pieces of eggshell dropped onto the rainforest floor. Crackle, push, a tiny wet cassowary chick scrambled out of the egg covered in bits of shell. Squeak! Daddy cassowary was very happy. Finally, he, his only egg for the year, had hatched. He looked at the little cassowary and whispered lovingly, Welcome to the tropics, Cassie. Cassie tried to stand on her wobbly legs and manage a few brave steps. Hop! Soon after her feathers had dried on the warm tropical air, she was a very cute little bird stumble. Now she was ready to explore her new world. Jump! Cassie tried to catch the big green butterfly. Kick! She was trying out her legs and enjoying the power she had discovered in them. Run! Push! Shove! Crack. Follow me, her father said. Cassie watched her father pushing the vines and trees out of the way. It was quite difficult to walk through the thick rainforest. Why don't I look like your daddy? Why do I have stripes? asked Cassie. The stripes are to help you hide while you are small. When you grow up, you will look just like me. Cassie saw some colourful balls on the rainforest floor. What are those, Daddy? Cassie's father explained. They are the fruits of the rainforest. They are good to eat. All those different colours, they are so beautiful, Cassie shouted excitedly. When the poor Cassie tried to jump over a log, she didn't quite make it. That's a fallen tree from our last cyclone, Daddy told Cassie. A cyclone is a big storm which leaves nothing untouched in its path. Afterward, it looks a bit like this. Crunch! Crack! Wham! Swoosh! Broken and fallen trees, shredded leaves, branches and trunks scattered all over the place, Daddy shouted. What happened to all the beautiful, colourful fruits? asked Cassie, quite concerned. All gone, Daddy whispered sadly. Many rainforest animals were very hungry for a long time, but now the rainforest has grown again and there is lots of food for everyone. 
Cassie was very happy and scrambled into the forest to follow the trail of berries. Cassie's tale, what a wonderful story about a baby cassowary looked after, of all things, by his father. Thank you.